if you want peace, just feel the peace inside your heart. It is not to be found in the mind. Mind is always giving trouble, making you uneasy and restless. While the peace is in your heart, just feel it. <laughs> Taking each day as a gift from God, you can live peacefully, happily, and contentedly. Everything is predetermined. If you feel that truth inside, you relax and the peace in the heart is felt nowhere else than in your heart. Blessings to you. I think everybody is afraid of the death and being dead. <laughs> they are afraid of not existing anymore. But when you come to know that um, we are not only afraid of death, but also of dying, that moment that you disappear, for me, it would be <laughs> the most precious moment. <sighs> but before that death, there could be a lot of uh, difficulties for the body. And sickness, pain, whoever, who knows? Maybe we have all memories. We all have memories of the death because otherwise we would not even fear what we what is not known yeah we fear the unknown also but <laughs> that's another side of uh, not knowing if you know who you are you don't fear death and if you don't know what you are you think this is the reality and then you fear the death but also dying because there is a little thing inside uh, a sort of memory that has been um, experiencing, experiencing the death, the dying moment, so many times, and it would have been horrible, probably, I think. And that's why we are afraid not only of death, but also of dying. And when you come to know that it is not the body that is afraid of the dying, how could it? It is only the mind that is afraid of dying. Why? Because when the mind dies, it has nothing more to say and to, to put you in a sort of uh, control box where you obey the mind, because the mind is always a dictator. And the mind knows it will disappear, and that's why it is horrified by the death and by the dying moment. But can the body be afraid of the dying moment? Of course not. It's not the body that is happy when it knows there will be a good uh, vacation coming and we go to a, a tropic island and have fun. It's not the body that is pleased, it is the mind. And the mind brings the body to that island and the senses are, um, well, the senses are not longing for something at that moment. And that's why it feels good. And when you long for something, you feel um, stressed and uh, not happy. So it is always, all is always in the mind. The fear of death is not in the body, although the body dies. <laughs> the consciousness in sight, in the mind, knows that it will go. 
and it doesn't know where it is going because it it is not educated and it is not uh, taught that the consciousness will never die for there was no um, attention for this study of uh, the reality Advaita then if you know all that there is no more fear of death no it is instead you are longing for the death because inside there is such a great blissful freedom which is in the daytime in in moving around in the body it is always imprisoned and it is not free it is always captured in this um, embodiment the body itself is a sort of um, prison and inside when you really know there is so much more than this life here on earth then you are longing for the death so no more fear of death and it will give you the f when the river runs in the ocean it merges in the ocean and it is limitless free but the river is not more the, the river not anymore like the big river st streaming into the atlantic ocean it is it is lost and it is free so that's what death is for us we are lost but we are free <laughs> that's it. to lose yourself is to win yourself <laughs> now be happy all the time consciousness is not going away so it can only be what it is and without all those mind structures and fears and uh, afraid for the future without all that there is this freedom and there is this happiness consciousness is is not attached anymore to whatever form consciousness is the happiness itself bliss and then there is this open ocean where whoosh, all is dissolved and then there is the awareness of that free empty Pff, no more constructions in the mind that state nothing more to see only feeling the bliss of what you are be happy in the body out the body wherever you are it is the consciousness what is happy and you can feel it <laughs> when you come to think of it it is something in you is afraid of death well something must know death exists but when something knows that there is death there must be something very alive <laughs> yeah and if you give that attention it will take over all fear you know there is death well who is that no who is that knowing you when you know there is death then you must still be there how else can you know it you have survived so many 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 times dying <laughs> it was only the the body the corpus that disappeared but not you of course not how can you know death you had it all so many times so many times you have experienced it but you still remained alive and now that you are aware of what it is that is alive that it is your consciousness your being your your real self then you will be happy to die the mind will die with its wrong ideas and the body will die because it has done its job 
It went through all experiences to make you aware. The consciousness be growing to that fact that you can be, you cannot die. You only know dying, but that was not you. <laughs> that was not you dying. You are eternal alive. <laughs> happy, happy, happy. You can only find a peace in your heart, not in your mind. When you have peace in your mind, there is no mind. <laughs> and in your heart you don't need to search for it because it's always there. So, what's the matter? Why don't you feel happy? Because your consciousness is not directed to the inner peace in your heart, but in the outer world and trying to find it there. And that is a mind. The mind wants to have peace and goes outside in the world. Will not find it. Oh, always busy. Not this, not that. Oh, maybe that. Oh, no, not that. I want peace. Get lost of the I and get lost of the want. And what is remaining? That's you. Are you afraid when there is that moment? You are so tired you go to bed and you fall asleep. Is there something afraid to fall asleep? <laughs> no, it is so. There's disappearing from all the busy moments and the mind thoughts and Wow, 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 what a busy life we have to do this and we must have that and that's not to be forgotten. We are so tired by all that energy of the mind, of the thoughts, <coughs> that we go to bed and we fall away. Are you afraid or happy or don't you even notice it? Well, anyway, no one is afraid to fall asleep because it is so nice to disappear. And because we have no idea of our consciousness, of our reality, it seems that the night is in the sleep, there is nothing. It's black for the mind. Mind cannot enter that blackness, but the soul is already dead and it's not black, black at all, it's not empty at all, it's empty of thoughts and empty of mind, but it is full of the bliss of the self. And if you put your attention in the day to that self, that really self inside you now, if you give that attention, it will be experienced in the sleep of the night. If you dream, there is still flashes of, of what, what happened and it's mixed up and it can be strange. But then you fall in a deep sleep where is no dream state, no you, no mind, nothing for the mind. But that moment what you experience then is the most aliveness of your real self. And if you remember, if you think of that in the day it will be experienced and you will awake with a, with a feeling of, of bliss and then the mind comes and say oh I feel so good what have I dreamt I know I want to dream that again that's the mind it's disturbing making troubles taking over keeping things under control, but mind bye-bye, you have nothing to say in the reality of that being, what we are. There is no mind. So that means when you drift away, you are not afraid. And when you drift away and you are so-called dying, then you are just dying of the existence in the body and in the mind. 
And then the reality of what you are is experienced. And give it your attention in the day. And then you will, so full of bliss, you will be happy as un unspeakable about that. Because that's your reality. And that's now in your heart and in your soul. And in the mind is only the fear, because the mind is afraid of disappearing. And only when that is happened, there is this bliss, this real self, the God, the self, Ananda, peace, my, my, my. <laughs> we have been so far away from it because we listened to our mind, which doesn't know a single thing. So stop listening to the mind and it will disappear. And it will, you will merge in the ocean of love, which is now here available. Just give it attention. Love says it will never leave me if I don't let it go. That's the love of the self, the peace that you are. Be blessed. It's normal that we have 100% of our attention in the day. What we are doing, what we want to go to and where we are going and uh, how the things are and what it looks like, how it tastes and what is the next uh, thing we gonna do. So that is 100% of our attention is in the day, in the form. And then there is nothing left because all we have is 100%. And the 100% goes in the body, in the mind, in the day. So at night we are gone. But if you take uh, time to get attention for the real self in you, the reality, the, the, the reality of the, the um, knowing that you are not only this body, but there is more, there is a witness or something inside that knows. If you give that attention, it will grow and then there will be, for example, 80% uh, attention in the day and 20 in that sleepless, in the dreamless sleep where there's no one, nothing there, no mind. But there is something alive, that's your reality. And when you give only 80% in the day, you have 20% awareness in that night. So then you can feel it when you put your mind on it, you think of it. it it's felt. And if you put 50% only for the day and your things, then there is 50% in the night awareness. The consciousness will be um, alert. And you take that 50% of that reality that you are, which has no form, but it is very much your own aliveness. You have that feeling in the day. The more attention you give it in the day, the more it will be uh, felt in the deep sleep in the night. And then there is so, you know where, where you are going then. Uh, that's why so many wise men just don't do anything in the night, in the day, in the life. They know it is not their reality. It's not what they are. And they just are silent and uh, still. They are in peace because they have given all the attention that was lost in the day in the body form. They have given it in the day, given it to the reality of the self of that I am. And that is now 100% felt in the day, experienced. So then you can talk to them and say, hey, do you want to go with me? I am going to town and buy some new shoes or no. So. I don't feel like it. Well, you are boring. Yeah, that's what, what they think, because they have fun for a, a, the, the time being. 
as long as it takes. But you have always that blissful experience of your reality because you spent so much energy of what you lost in the day, you spent it to your reality. And that is now here. So it's you can do it. It takes your attention to be free of um, things that take your attention. <laughs> yeah. To be free is not to be lost in the day, in the, the daily life. And then what is inside is felt all the time. So that's the blissful self that you are. You can call that bliss, ananda, God, self. It has no name because there is no name in that emptiness, but it is your, your, your being. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. And when you have given it the attention, then uh, the change is starting inside and it is not your doing anymore. That what you really are, the real self, starts to pull your awareness, your consciousness, to that freedom. So it's, you don't need to do anything anymore. That's why the people who, the ones who realize themselves, don't move or don't try to get something because there is no self anymore, no personal self. And then there's this peace. So first you have to get your attention out of that daily life with all the wishes and the wants, that's ego, and then find, slowly it comes from the inner self. Then it starts growing. You know, you cannot do nothing when you haven't understood what you are. When you understand what you really are, then this body-mind constructor has to take attention, give its attention to that reality. And then the reality takes over and you disappear. And you don't have to die. Not, not yet. You can enjoy the the bliss of yourself and that will slowly and smoothly go over into the limitless free ocean that you are because you will probably you will not even notice that you leave the body when it's time to enter the reality the space the formlessness your form will drop and you maybe you will not even notice it this will be smooth because you are already there that you experience it and you realized it so do some work first and then the god inside your reality will take over it's not a promise it's certain there are times for me personal that i look around and see the trees and clouds, whatever. And there is this feeling, this tremendous feeling of bliss. And at the same time, there can be a little sadness because there is this echo of the mind that says, you will never enjoy this nature again, this beauty, the skies and the, the birds and the trees. This is the last time you enjoy it. That can make you sad and keep you here. But at the, in the, the same time, I feel this, this echo of the, 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 the ego, <laughs> the mind, my wisdom, takes over and immediately there is the knowing you don't enjoy the nature you don't enjoy the, the clouds and the, the birds and the, the trees you enjoy the joy that they give 
Here is the dying moment again. You don't enjoy the forms. You enjoy the joy that they touch in you. You don't need any form to be happy. It only distracts you. And when you really know, realize that you are that great, free, blissful f being, there is still the enjoying things around you. But it is not a depending anymore. Your joy is not depending. Like when I had my cup of tea, it was so good. I was cold and I had a warm cup of tea. And I said, thank you, God. This is so good. And I feel so good by, by this cup of tea. And then God spoke. That's the reality what you are. That's the self. It's not for the cup of tea. It is only a tool. You touch the self. You can put that in all circumstances. Whatever is making you happy is not. It is pointing you to the happiness inside. Oh, if you could remember that, there would be this bliss eternally. So give it attention. Then in the deep sleep, there it, it is for free in the deep sleep. In the dreamless sleep, it is there. It is not covered anymore. Then, if you have that state of mind, that mind that is no mind anymore, but, but it is the reality, the wisdom, when you have that by drinking tea and you feeling the joy and you know it's not the tea it's the joy you look in the nature you see the trees and the birds and you feel the joy and you think it's not the trees or the nature it's the joy then all can disappear because the joy is not needing to be touched anymore that was the outer form that was just your imagination the mind says go out and have joy that's imagined, it's only in the mind. It's not the trees and the tea or whatever objects, not even the, the greatest piece of, of the diamond of whatever can, can make you feel what you are. It's just that is what the mind is making you uh, crazy about. The mind says, go and get it. And you lose it. And by knowing it, you win it back. It is now here. Eternally happiness. That's what you are. <laughs> you just can die because there's nothing to die anymore. <laughs> have, have bliss and, and <sighs> blessings. That's what you are.